and I had a graduate student who was doing already computer programming on the large mainframe computer for architectural design and he was creating architectural drawings and he was able to create a program for students to use in which they created one uh, design module, very small, uh, and then identified the XYZ coordinates, typed those onto computer cards uh, with a key punch, and then uh, this, this young man, the graduate assistant, wrote a program that would generate 20 different symmetry operation designs with each module. So each student punched their cards and then we ran them all through the card reader at the computer center for the mainframe and each student got a roll of drawings uh, with 20 different symmetry operations and we, that allowed discussions of the various types of visual dynamics um, in particular compositions. So after I discovered that we could do that, I then became very interested in doing my own drawings. And the interesting thing to me at that point also was the idea that embedded in these programs were algebraic formulas. And of course, they're dependent on or they use variables. And that's the idea of variables, which are variable values within a drawing program allowed me to create an incredibly wide variety um, of experimental drawings at that point because variables and the way you insert values and control their evolution so to speak um, allows you this incredible diversity of ideas that then come through the drawings so uh, that's and then I I proceeded to make many, many uh, drawings. Thank goodness the university had a mainframe computer and the geography department had a pen plotter and I was in the art department and they supported all of that work. So that's how I uh, begun. I would say generative artist is where art is where the artist uh, creates a process that's a catalyst. Um, it's catalytic, so that you put things together in a way that creates forms or ideas or uh, events that you really c would not think ahead of time to create. It, it's expansive um, and in this process where there's this juxtaposition of possibly unlike elements, um, it precipitates different kinds of uh, artworks and extends the way that I would normally make work. And in the process of um, doing the generative art plotter drawings, it was absolutely uh, astounding the range of things that would evolve through the programming process and we talked yesterday about the variables and this idea of inserting different values and the and evolving the values in the variables so that you did create a range of 
I would say unexpected uh, drawings. So programming, of course, is ideal for this, um, creating algorithms. It really, I like the word precipitate, unpredictable uh, results. And previously, things that you might not think about. And, and it makes me think about how John Cage would perform, uh, do performances where he would cut up books or poems and then mix them up on the table and then read one at a time and create something totally new that you wouldn't have thought ahead of time uh, to create. So it's an incredibly powerful um, and inspiring process in many ways.